Hey fam, welcome back, welcome back. You're rolling with the fam today, and today we're going to blow your mind and our kids' mind and make these viral puffs that's been going around. You know we had to do it, right? But we're going to do it our way. Now listen, our kids don't like sloppy joe, but we're going we gonna to ramp it up and vamp it up and make it delicious and make the puffs out of that. Now I guess school lunch traumatize them because y'all they don't like the man witch they don't like sloppy joe but today i'm gonna try to convince them and i hope this video right here provides some inspiration to you as well we got the ground beef daddy wanted me to use some of this bolognese sauce that he had left over i don't know what he wants me to use because it's only but a little drop but okay we're gonna go ahead and use it <laughs> and we're gonna do it with some biscuits and i was able to get the man witch all right so so go ahead and buckle your seat belts. We about to get rolling. And you guys, make sure you go ahead and join our membership on our channel. Hit that join button. Get the details if you want to know more, okay? If you're new to our channel, welcome. Hit that subscribe, that like button, and watch the video. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and chop up this green pepper and onion. Three, two, one, boom. And just like that, we got the peppers and the onions. Okay, you guys, so we're going to go ahead and get these peppers and onions cooked up first. Going to add a little bit of oil to the pan. Mm-hmm. Now, do your family like Sloppy Joe? How often do you make it? And then if you've been watching this for a while, always just add a little pinch of salt to this to help them wilt on down. Give them a little stir, and we're going to cook these until they get nice and tender and brown, you guys. Okay? Have your heat up a little high so that way it can cook a little faster. Y'all don't got to be in this kitchen all day trying to stand over top of these vegetables now. But I wanted to tell you really quick about these jars. So I picked up two of these jars and I feel like I got a good deal. Tell me if I'm right or I'm wrong. But this is the family size, I'll say, of the Man Witch. It's 24 ounces. And this can was $3.69. And then they also had a 16 ounce can, which was $2.19. So I feel like, you know, two 16 ounce cans only came out to 22 ounces for two versus getting two of these and you're going to get um 24 ounces each so i picked up two of these and we're going to add our own little flavor to it they come in like bold or original they didn't have the bold in this so we're going to make it bold on our own okay we're going to show you how to do it but do you guys get the original or the bold of these cans Okay, there was a little bit of cooking ASMR for you guys. And I had the oven preheated to 375. And this was a three pound pack of ground beef. I just stole a little bit because I'm not going to eat this with the kids. Now when you're making the sandwich or your sloppy joes, you want to make sure you get your meat nice and broken down finely. Because once you put it on your sandwich, you don't want it all chunky. It's not like you're making, you know, spaghetti and meatballs. So, you're going to break this up real good. And I'm quite sure this will be good if you don't like ground beef. If you want to make it with ground turkey, ground chicken. You guys, whatever floats your boat, we're just showing you how to do it. And as we say, you can make it taste good your way. Okay? We're just showing you how to do it. So the beef is done. We're going to go ahead and drain off all this extra oil because you don't want that in your sauce. So now we can go ahead and season it up and add the sauce. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the sauce that daddy wanted first, which is this bouillonnaise sauce. A lot of people eat this on spaghetti. It's like another type of um, sauce that's really good. So I'm just going to add all of this. Not adding any water to the jar for this dish, y'all, because we don't want it because we're not making regular spaghetti. Look at me. I am making a mess trying to get the dang on can top off. And look at this. So you want this sloppy joe to be sloppy and saucy and juicy. Okay. That's why we bought two hands. And if you wanted a little thick on the thick side, you can add some tomato paste. I'm going to mix this up first. See what it's looking like. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of this. 
because we have a lot of beef. A lot of kids, they, they don't really like it because it's a textural thing and it's the bread. It makes the bread soggy and so. But this was a childhood classic for a lot of us. Kids don't know nothing about nothing if they never had a sloppy joe sandwich. So hopefully we can convince them today, you guys. The sugar is going to help break down that sweetness with all that vinegar that's in the sauce, y'all. Okay. That probably was about less than a fourth cup. You can make it as sweet as you want to. But it's not going to be that sweet, you guys. And then to this, some onion powder. And garlic powder. A little bit of smoked paprika. Pepper. And we're going to get it some stir, y'all. And then taste it. If you want to add a little bit more spice, make it nice, do it your way. Okay, so I'm going to taste it, see if it needs something. That's good. I'm going to add just a little teeny bit of salt. And then one last thing I feel like it needs is some of that Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to add some of that in here. I still feel like it needed something else. So I just added a little bit of this Nature's Own seasoning and it's good to go. So the first thing you're going to need for this is your muffin pan. And to make sure the biscuits don't stick, I'm using this lard right here. I'm just adding a little bit, rubbing my fingers. Because I want to make sure these biscuits do not get stuck. Although they are the butter tasting ones. <laughs> we done did all this work, you guys. The last thing you want it to do is when you pull out that muffin and it don't come out, okay? Now we're going to make a garlic butter sauce, y'all. So what we're going to do is add a stick of butter because we're going to add this garlic butter to the bottom of these biscuits. So that way, before you bite the puff, you're going to be tasting flavor before you eat the meat. Mm-hmm. Um, no, I shouldn't have said it that way, but y'all, before you bite into the puff, okay? <laughs> stop, stop thinking that way. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to add, once it's butter milk, we're going to add some of this minced garlic. And y'all, I actually bought some of this today. I didn't make my own. So yeah, you can use this or cut up your own. So we're gonna add a squeeze of that garlic, the garlic. Okay. And then give us a good old stir, let everything melt down and we're gonna be ready to go. Now for this part, you're gonna need your brush. So that way you can dab the butter in there first. The first step was to ensure that our biscuits don't stick. Now we're going to go in with some flavor. So I'm just going to brush it just like that. And then we're going to add our biscuits. And this is our first time making these. Although we use, you know, these muffin tins all the time for other recipes. This is our first time making these style of puffs. And then save the rest of the garlic butter because we're going to add that on top once we take the puffs out the oven. Now, I didn't actually watch to see how the viral ones are made. So I don't know if they actually use the garlic butter on the bottom. If they do, okay. But I'm just, you know, doing this ourselves. Do they put the garlic butter in there at the bottom? So today we're using the butter taste and biscuits. You know, that extra butter. It's going to make them taste extra buttery good. Mm-hmm. Now you already know how we do. We end up separating the biscuit in half, okay? If you've watched our channel before, you know we do this all the time. We don't just cook with the whole biscuit if I'm making a recipe like this. This one is kinda like, okay. Now this first one is kinda letting me down, but <laughs> I'm just separating it into two. So, we're going to just lay them in there. And when you lay them in here, you want to press it and make sure that it goes all the way around. Okay, you guys? Try not to have it lumped up on one side. So, make sure you spread it around. Make sure that all of the biscuits, 
you know, it's covering the whole sides of it. And then make sure the biscuit is touching the top. If you was to use that whole biscuit in one, it's going to be so thick at the end. So if you don't want to bite into a whole bunch of bread, cut that biscuit in half, y'all, like I did. Now, let me break apart another one. Hopefully, this one doesn't disappoint me. I want to make sure you find a little pocket and separate it. So, the thing is with these, they're so flaky. It has so many different layers in it. There we go. All right. And it should break apart just like that. All right. I'm going to keep doing this until we get them all filled up. All right, y'all. So, I'm going to have to do this in batches. So, the first can, I still have two biscuits left. And I still have a whole nother can in the refrigerator. So, once I'm done this batch, I'm going to make another one. But we already have the bread in here, the biscuits. Now, it's time for the next step. The cheese. Mm -hmm. You can't have the puffs without the cheese. And more so... Do you guys eat cheese on your sloppy joe sandwiches? Daddy loves it. I didn't grow up with eating cheese on mine, but he loves to eat cheese on his. Comment down below if y'all do the same thing. But we're going to go ahead and put some cheese in the bottom. And did y'all see the packaging? When did Land Lake start making shredded cheese? Mm. Nice. Mm. Some big old pieces. Okay, so I'm going to put a couple in here at the bottom. And don't worry, once we put the sauce, because your sauce is still warm, it's going to melt once we put it in there. But you want to make sure you add enough. And we have a couple of other videos, you guys, where we use these little muffin tins. So I'll go ahead and link it above if you want some quick fun meals like this where you and your kids can make we got you covered just explore our page a little bit i was trying to find the dang on ice cream scooper so that way it'll be easy to put this in but we're just gonna have to use this spoon all right now we're gonna fill up these puffs here and you want to make sure you do it nice and neat you guys and fill it up okay because you want to be able to bite into this and it to be you know a good amount and they're gonna shrink down a little bit or puff up a little bit puff up a lot <laughs> with that biscuit in there but we're gonna do this the whole way through but you see the idea mm -hmm. looks good already right I feel like this is one way we could try to convince the kids to eat something that they don't like so Here's to a test of what we say. Your kids may not like something, but if you try to make it in a different way, they may come around. So we'll let you know how it is at the end. I was going to go live to do this video, but I felt like it would be better just by doing a regular video so we can show you everything step by step and up close and personal and this is quick and easy you guys right what you think and that sauce is already starting to melt the cheese but you can see the peppers and the onions so i'm glad it is making a lot of these and i'm quite sure you know once you make this this is something that you can freeze so for a lot of the families that want those freezer meals um i feel like this probably would be a good one to make it has all the components that you will want in a dinner all right so these are good now we're going to top them with some more cheese y'all and now I said these pieces of cheese was really thick. So they said it should melt fine. We're going to see. Land of Lakes. Let's see now. We like the butter. Let's see if we're going to like the cheese too. 
I'm gonna make sure I cover it up good so that way in the oven, you know, it sprays out and looks pretty. But just keep watching, you guys. Give us a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to do that too. I pretty much used that whole bag. It's still a little bit left in here. So that's good. I'll still have some for the next batch. But this tray is heavy, y'all. <laughs> It is heavy. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven for about, you want to cook it like you would your regular biscuits. So I'm going to say about 10 minutes to start out first and I'm going to check them. I'm going to go ahead and pull these puffs out the oven while they're nice and hot straight out the oven. And I'm frying some fries on the side to go with it. Dip some down there. A little review. This is what they are looking like. Now, I already told my husband, I don't like how this cheese melted. I expected way more from that Land Lakes. It is not the presentation that I was hoping to give to y'all with these first time making this puss. But y'all, just ignore that, okay? So now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and brush it with a little bit more garlic butter just a little bit y'all not a lot you go emmy the main person that doesn't like the dang on sloppy joe so i'm gonna have her taste this show gotta be on camera but i just want to get her reaction to these you guys what you think now i already told you the cheese didn't melt right but the flavor should be on point she already turning her nose up and like, what is this? You want to wait to fry them? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put them on the platter, you guys. That way it'll be easy for them to just grab and go. So I got this little platter right here. We went to Famous Dave's um, this week. And I saved these little platters that... You know the food comes on because you never know what you may need it for it's out it's the moment of truth we're gonna see how easy it is oh y'all oh yeah Woo. i gotta hold it on here you guys it's still piping hot look how it came out you can see that garlic butter on the side now don't mind that cheese again i didn't told y'all don't come for me with the cheese this is my first time using that lando lakes but again, we're gonna check for the flavor. So we're gonna take all of these out. And you see it's nice and brown. What is that holding in the cup? The biscuit. So these are some butter biscuits. And you wanna try to make sure you take these out while they are still warm so that way it's easy to maneuver them. Got another one, and it's nice and golden brown. So this is how they looking so far, y'all. Mm -hmm. These sloppy Joe puffs. I still got a lot more to put on the plate, but you get the point, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up a little bit before I do the next batch. But y'all see, the, all the biscuits came out nice and easy. I'm going to sprinkle them just with a little bit more parsley just to make it look cute, y'all. Go ahead and try this out. Enjoy and eat them while they still hot. Okay, they rushing me along. Hold on. All right, grab those fries out of there. Real quick, so Amy about to tell you what she don't like about Sloppy Joe, and we're going to get her reaction when she tastes it. Um, I just don't like Sloppy Joe in general. Put that right here. Why not? Is it the texture? Is it the flavor? I don't like anything about it. I don't know. Oh my God, why did I just do that? Oh. Why did I just do that? Oh my God. Mm. <laughs> mm. Y'all just touched that damn pan while it's hot. Your fingers are Exactly. Okay, Emmy. Um, I just don't like anything about sloppy shit. 
Oh, it's already starting to pop up. All right, y'all. So she gonna go ahead and take a bite and give you her reaction. You know she don't want to be on camera, so just listen. What you think? Still don't like it? Like I've said, I do not like sloppy <sighs> joe. Oh my goodness, y'all. Look, we can't even make something new. So what's wrong? Is it the texture? Is the still the sloppy joe flavor? She just can't get with it. Yeah. No. Alright, well, we're going to take one of the husband and then Twan on my other side, he about to grab his and go to. But, yeah, y'all. So, hopefully you enjoyed this video again. We'll see y'all back for the next one, okay? Bye.